Hey, how's it going everyone? Don here, and you're watching VR Gamer Dude, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Karina W1 wearable battery pack from Prism XR. Now, you guys may have seen a little tease of this last week on my channel when I did the full accessory line. If you didn't, go check out that video. They've got some other great accessories, but this one is solving a huge issue for me, and that is the horrible battery life we're getting with Quest 3. I, if you have one, you know the battery is not the best and especially if you're a content creator who records I'm lucky to get an hour and a half out of that thing before it's completely dead so with this man no weight on the head or the neck it's super comfortable I can't wait to show you all about it let's go All right, so let's start by talking about the design and comfort of the Karina W1 here. So, you know, as I said in the video last week, I kind of find this to be a little bit of a unique design. I've been testing this stuff for years, and I've never come across a battery pack that was body worn. So, really interesting that Prism XR took this route, and I really like it because it doesn't add any extra weight to my headset. So, you know, most batteries that we've seen over the years have either been built right into the strap or they've been some sort of docking station that you got to kind of strap to the back of your headset or up on your top of your head. And, you know, that always adds extra weight to your head and neck, which can, well, quite frankly, lead to, you know, shorter play sessions. So Prism XR kind of thought of that and said, well, let's put it on the body. Let's distribute that weight downwards so it's not up on your head and it works great. You can wear this as a belt or you can wear it crossbody. Either way that you go, it's definitely going to take all the weight off your head that all the other batteries add and it's definitely going to give you comfort for those longer play sessions. Now, comfort is one thing, but what about heat dissipation? So, you know, those of us who've used external battery packs in the past know they do tend to heat up, especially under heavy load or while charging. So in order to combat that, Prism XR has done kind of a unique thermal layer on the back here that, that actually dissipates some of that heat and moves it away from your body. Now, how do they do that? Well, it's a combination of the thermal layer on your body plus uh, you know metal strips and aluminum and all sorts of other heat dissipation techniques that they're using that really keeps this thing cool in use. And that means for you that you're not going to feel any heat buildup from it. So no sacrificing comfort while you're wearing the Karina W1. So we've talked about the comfort, we've talked about the heat dissipation, but what about the actual battery life? So that's what we're all here for, right? We want to see if this thing can actually help us with the Quest 3 battery problem, as I mentioned earlier. And, you know, I got to tell you, over the last couple of weeks, I've been doing a lot of testing on the Karina W1 here, and I am happy to report that it absolutely gets the job done and it does it well. So I've been seeing lots of posts out there where people are saying that even with the official elite strap with battery or with third party batteries like the Bobo, people are having trouble with their Quest 3 staying charged during gameplay. And you know, during my tests, I, the other night I did a stream and that's one thing that I actually looked for right there live while it was happening. And you know, I'm happy to say on that test, I started my headset, it was about 61%. And as you can see here from the clip, as I've been playing, the Karina W1 here is actually charged my headset by another 6%. So it is continuing to charge the headset as I play. So it's not just maintaining, it's actually charging. So I don't know, 10,000 milliamp battery pack strapped to my waist. Who'd have thought it? Charging and 
nonsense. It's so. literally at 68% by the end of a one hour stream. So during heavy intensive gameplay with streaming back to my PC, the Karina W1 was still able to provide enough power to give me 8% charge across one hour. So I, I, I'm impressed. I, it really actually does what it says it will. Now, we have a 10,000 milliamp battery here, and you know, per the specs on the website, they say it'll charge your Quest 2 twice, it'll charge your Quest 3 one and a half times, and it says that you should get, you know, almost upwards of nine hours of battery. Now that I'm gonna contest a little bit, during all of the testing, I will say it varied depending on the usage of the headset itself and what I was doing. If, if I was just, you know, watching movies or, or, or consuming media or doing, you know, just productivity stuff in the browser, well, not very much battery consumption at all during those. In fact, this thing actually held up and, and I would say I got close to six hours of additional use out of the battery pack. Now, during during heavy gaming, I, I mean like when I am like gaming and streaming or gaming and recording, well it was kind of closer to that minimum spec. I'd say I got right at about five hours of use out of the battery. But either way you slice it, the fact that it does the fast charging and the fact that it can actually keep up with the Quest 3 while in use is gold. So all right. I guess it's time to wrap it up and give you guys a, a couple of final thoughts. Okay, so now onto those final thoughts. So, you know, it's been a great couple of weeks testing these battery banks, and I, I, I gotta tell you, I can't thank Prism XR again enough for sending these out, because this is something I never knew I needed until I had it, and had a Quest 3 that had horrible battery life. So, is it solving my problem? As you heard throughout the review, it absolutely is. I am able to charge my Quest 3 while I play, I'm able to fast charge my Quest 3, I'm able to use this thing on the go for charging phones and cameras and all sorts of stuff when I travel. So would I recommend this? You bet your bottom dollar I would. And, and I, I gotta tell you, it's super, super versatile. And I love the fact that it's chocolate and vanilla here. So if you got a Quest 2, a Quest 3, or if you got a Quest Pro or a Vive XR Elite, you can color match. They come in multiple sizes. So if you're a big boy like me, you can get the big belt here. If, you, if you're a little smaller, they got a smaller belt. So it's, it's gonna be comfortable either way you go. So, all right guys. I'm going to leave links for everything that you need in the description as always. Go check these out if you're looking for a good battery bank for your Quest 3 or any other headset that requires power. I can't recommend it enough. But for me, that's going to do it. I will see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.